was the kid that was watching Turner Classic movies while everybody else was watching Nick at Night. Um, always, always, always just driven to performance, creativity, that, that form of expression was just the thing that made sense to me. And I just, it was always in the back of my head that like I knew I loved it, but I didn't know if I had the guts to really pursue it as a career, because people are always like, it's not smart, it's not dependable, it's the hardest thing to pursue. But I, I just couldn't shake it. I wasn't happy doing anything else. So I moved to Manhattan, and I studied theater there at the American Musical and Dramatic Academy, and it was an amazing experience. Um, and then I realized that I really want to make that transition into also TV and film, and that brought me here. Audrey Hepburn specifically, just her grace, her elegance, the, the whole, the, the sense of style that she has, um, I think it really informed who I am as a person, and also um, specifically as an actress. Growing up watching Roman Holiday, Sabrina, just all these amazing films, and I really love that Margot gets to have a little touch of that, that love for Audrey as well that we'll see pop up throughout the first season. I can't be the only one hearing that. What? <laughs> Please tell me! <laughs> <laughs> Margot is just such a strong, driven woman who just exudes confidence, which I love about her. Um, but I think she's so driven that sometimes she lets you get the best of her. It, it, she gets a little little lost in the moment, other than just her tunnel vision of what she wants and what she's doing. Um, I certainly can relate to that as who I am as me. Having Sage suddenly drop into her life, like just this, this individual that's the complete opposite mentality and philosophy, I think is going to be really difficult for her, but also really almost cleansing, to use like a, a Sage type of word. Costume has, has a lot to do with me finding just Margot's passion for style and who she is and what she exudes when she walks in the room. So as soon as I put on her high heels and, and that put together outfit, the constant perfect applied lipstick, like then it's it's Margot business time. Everybody's so dedicated to making something fun, just something lovely, and there's very rarely any complaints. It is just such a positive atmosphere, and that's what you want. Like you want to be able to just connect with people and just sit down, and come up with an awesome concept, and just bring it to life. Like as as an artist, that's all you really want. <laughs>